black to play. This is an amazing position. So a game played in Germany in 2004 between two amateurs, Gip against Rudzinski. And here black found a fantastic idea. Please do pause the video to take a proper look at this position because even if you find the first move, there are certain details to this position that are, well, they're, they're hidden in there. It's really worth having a close look. Here, the correct move is queen d6. You can see that, that white is two pawns up and, and is even attacking black's king. But amazingly, black can defend with queen d6. Now, this was not played in the game, actually. Here, white has to be really careful. So, uh, for example, queen d8 check and queen g5 mate is threatened. And if king g4, in fact, queen d8 is winning for black, there's no decent defense to queen g5. If h4, trying to slip away here and stopping queen g5, then queen c8 is a lovely checkmate. You can see these, the h4 square has been taken away from the king, and that's mate next move. Or if f4, then queen d1 followed by queen h5 is mate. It's extraordinary. White's king is in desperate trouble in this position. After queen d6, threatening queen d8, in fact, white has only one good move, and that is g4. So that if the queen checks on d8, the king can slip away to safety and white would be winning. But black now draws with the move queen f6 check, forcing stalemate. Really attractive, very beautiful indeed. So after queen d6 with best play, it should be a draw. In fact, in the game, black played queen c8. Also with a stalemate idea, and that's how the game ended. Queen f6, queen g4, and again, that stalemate. But in fact, after queen c8, white could have won with the move queen e7. Because if queen g4 check, well, that's not stalemate because black still can play g5 and that would be checkmate. So after queen c8, queen e7 is actually a winning move. There's really no good defense for black there. But I repeat, after queen takes f7, the best move is queen d6, and that should force a draw like this. g4, queen f6, with a beautiful stalemate position. Queen and pawn endgames are so difficult. They're so tricky. There are checkmates, there are stalemates, perpetual checks. There's all kinds of things going on. Do check out the solution on chesspuzzle.net, where you'll have an inter interactive board, and it'll lead you through to the solution. Thanks for watching.